Madam President, honorable members of this board, Chief Terrazas, Ms. Ratfish, Ms. Iniguez, and everyone in attendance, good morning. I'm Firefighter David Ortiz, PIO for the Community Service Unit. Today, I'd um, like to recognize the excellent work our members do every day, but one group in particular. Chief Poyer just went over the incredibly busy department that we have, and every day our members go out there and achieve excellence. Today, we're going to acknowledge firefighters that not only are they known for their bravery, bravery and problem-solving skills, but they're expected to deal with all types of emergencies and disasters at unexpected times. Sometimes they encounter emergencies while traveling to and from their fire station. On a Thanksgiving day in 2018, an LAFD fire paramedic ambulance had transported an elderly woman to a local hospital. Coincidentally, this hospital was undergoing a remodel when suddenly, while getting ready for their next emergency dispatch, these firefighter paramedics came upon an emergency inside the very emergency room they were at. A construction worker was working in a concealed attic space above them when he was suddenly electrocuted. One of the paramedic team members, without hesitation, made a quick assessment of his own personal safety, went up into the attic space to find a worker in cardiac arrest. At great risk to himself, he crawled up and lowered that worker down to a waiting ER team that quickly began to work on him and resuscitate him. Also, due to the electrical hazard, all the power was cut to that emergency department, and while the engineers were trying to achieve restoring the, emer the electricity to that emergency department in a safe manner and determine where the hazard had occurred, um, the fire department dispatch task force to provide them emergency electricity to power all their equipment and their um, drug cash that they had. Also, one of our ambulances responded, or two of our ambulances responded and provided drugs to this hospital so they could continue to treat the patients that were there because their drugs were locked up without electricity to be able to retrieve them. Thanks to the actions of one heroic firefighter paramedic, an entire team of LAFD firefighter paramedics that responded that afternoon, there was no unexpected loss of life that happened at that hospital on that Thanksgiving day. The LAFD administration would like to recognize the firefighters and paramedics for their duties on that Thanksgiving day. I'd like to also add that the worker that was electrocuted walked out of that hospital three weeks later with minor deficits and is expected to make it a full recovery. Now I will ask to stand and come and be recognized Captain 2, Eric Thompson, Captain 2, Michael Coffey, Engineer Daniel Johnson, Firefighter Paramedic Blake Pearson, Firefighter Kyle Caudry, Firefighter Diego Gutierrez, Firefighter Tyler Elmore, Firefighter Antonio Barisi, Firefighter Matthew LeCount. I'd like to also mention three members that were part of this incident that could not be here. Apparatus Operator Michael Puglioso, Engineer Warren Worcester, and Firefighter Jose Davalos. Now I want to highlight one member in particular who went above and beyond, firefighter who heroically risked his life to save an electrocuted worker and went up into the crawl space. And that's firefighter paramedic Derek Cook. Please come up and be recognized. I will now. I will now read the certificate the department is presenting to all these members. In recognition and sincere gratitude for your heroic courage, diligent efforts, personal initiative, and expedient assistance, which directly resulted in saving the life of an electrocuted man inside the Los Angeles Hospital Emergency Room on November 22, 2018, the Los Angeles Fire Department commends you for your extraordinary life-saving efforts to a citizen of the city of Los Angeles presented this 19th day of March, 2019, Ralph M. Terrazas, Fire Chief. Well, another example of the fine work that the men and women of the Los Angeles Fire Department do. This, I didn't understand the complexity of the story until just now. So not only did Derek climb in the attic space, and you know, I don't know how they selected you. You must have got the short end of the stick, and, or might have been by height or size. I'm not sure, but you were the right person at the right time. So we were addressing the person, the electrician, I assume, was working in the attic space. 
And, and when they lost power, uh, Task Force 10 responded and provided power to the emergency room and access to the drugs. So there potentially was tens of additional patients in the ER that benefited from our people being there. Firefighters at our core are problem solvers. And you never know the extent of the problem until you get there. And sometimes it's very complicated. And sometimes it's, pr it's pretty apparent what we have to do. But the end result is a validation of the talent and expertise. Uh, nobody was hurt. The electrician got to uh, walk away. Hopefully he'll be restored to full, full duty, as we call it. So I'm tremendously proud of the, uh, the group behind me, and I'd like to turn over the mic to Derek for a few words. Actually, I, I don't want to turn it over to Derek. He declined that offer. <laughs> Captain Thompson. I'll hold that for you. Oh, thanks, Chief. Sure. Chief. Chief, thank you. I just wanted to say uh, Derek Cook's actually the real hero here because they were in the ER when this all went down. So, and like I said, without hesitation, you can see one of the larger guys probably would have got stuck, but uh, he was one of the slimmer, trimmer guys. So fortunately, he was able to make his way up there. So, but uh, as you can see all the uh, all the members here, Captain Coffee and I, he and I both have about 30 years on the job. I think uh, what Elmore, what do you have? Four years on. He's a senior firefighter. Captain Coffee and I were handed a pretty good, dealt a pretty good hand to play with. So, as any supervisor, we're only as good as the people we supervise. So, thank you. Thank you.